Okay. L'Hopital's rule only applies to infinity over infinity form or zero over zero. And you take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom and you get the answer. If you have any one of these other forms in your homework problems, you are going to need to beat these things into the shape or into the format of one of these and then you apply L'Hopital's rule. So if you have an infinity minus infinity or a zero to the infinity or something, then you, uh, you must do something to beat it into the proper form and I'll show you how to do that uh, in these problems here. Okay. So one more thing I want to tell you and then we're going to dive into some problems. When you take these derivatives here of the top and the bottom, uh, you're taking the derivative of the top function as a single unit and putting it here and you're taking the derivative of the bottom function as a single unit and you're putting it here. You are not taking the derivative of the quotient or of the, the division of these two things because if you remember, um, if, you have, if you're trying to take the derivative of the whole thing from your basic calculus, it's a much more complicated deal. Um, bottom times derivative of the top minus top times the derivative of the bottom of the bottom squared and that's not what we're doing here. So this is really simple. You just take the derivative of the top, the derivative of the bottom, Bada boom, bada bing, you take your limit. So what we're going to do, this is the kind of thing that you can put a theorem or a rule on the board and you can talk about it all day and I can tell you how easy it is and everything else. Um, but really and truly, when you start to see some examples, it becomes clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that now. The first problem would be, let's say we're taking the limit as x approaches 2 of the function x minus 2 over x squared minus 4. So the first thing you want to do is find out what form this thing is and if this limit exists. And if it's an indeterminate form that L'Hopital's rules covers, then we're going to apply it. So if you take 2 and you plug it in here, you're going to get 2 minus 2 is going to be 0. And if you put 2 in here, you're going to get 2 squared is 4 and 4 minus 4 is 0. So you're going to have the form 0 over zero. So you do fall into the realm of what L'Hopital's rule can do for you and uh, so you can use it. So the next thing you do is you just say limit as x approaches 2 because we're approaching the same limit and now you just take the derivative of the top. Derivative of x minus 2. Well the derivative of that is just going to be 1. Okay that's from your basic calculus. Derivative of that is just 1 and then you take the derivative of the bottom x squared minus 4. The derivative of that is 2x. Take the 2 bring it out front x to the 2 minus 1 and there you go, that's from your basic calculus. Derivative of these constants are just zero, so they drop away. Okay? Now you evaluate the limit here. Uh, and so here what you're going to have is you're going to have 1 over 2 times 2, because you're approaching 2, so you're going to have 1 fourth. Okay? So this limit does converge, and it converges to uh, the value of 1 fourth. So if you were to plot this function on a graph, you would find that it approaches the number 1 fourth as x approaches 2. Okay, uh, even though the top approach is zero and the bottom approach is zero ind individually, you can see how the derivative helps you because what you're finding out here is that the bottom function here is the driver and even though they both approach zero, the bottom function is what's causing it to go to one fourth there. Okay, so you take the derivatives and what you're doing is you're finding out the rate of change of the top compared to the bottom and that tells you how the ratio of those two original functions are behaving as a unit. Okay. So what if you had the limit of x approaches negative 1 of x to the 6th power minus 1 over x to the 4th power minus 1. So the first thing you do is you just plug in your negative 1 here and see what, what form you have. Well, you're going to be of the form. What is negative 1 to the 6th power? It's an, it's an even power, so if you take negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 on and on 6 times, you will get the number 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0, and on the bottom you're going to have the same thing. Negative 1 to the 4th power is 1, positive 1, minus 1 is 0. So it's the same form, 0 over 0. Because it's of the special form 0 over 0, I can use L'Hopital's rule, so I'm going to do that. x approaches negative 1. I take the derivative of the top, which is, from your basic calculus, 6x to the 5th power over 4x to the third power, and that's just your basic derivative of polynomials. These constants drop away. If you have any problems with how I take those derivatives, go back and look at the, the Calculus 1 DVD. That's, that's pretty um, elementary derivative taking there, okay? So you evaluate the limit again. What do you have this time? Well, now you're going to have 6 times negative 1 to the fifth power, and on the bottom you're going to have 4 times negative 1 to the third power, 
And now these are odd powers. So negative one to the fifth power is negative one. So you're gonna have negative six on the top. And on the bottom, you're gonna have negative four. And so the answer you're gonna get is positive six fourths, which can be reduced to three halves, right? So positive three halves, and that's the answer, okay?